Yeah. Is it ever anyone that you've seen in the crowd? You're like, really? Donald Trump and Candice Owen. I would just baff to just see them there. <laughs> You're joking. Yeah, that was that was, that was that, that was the Kevin Holland fight. Again, he's a massive, he's a massive um, a UFC fan. Yeah. So, and I forgot that because I know I've actually been there. I was there the following year, which was interesting as well because I was the year before. Um, Kevin Holland was actually fighting on that show. It was uh, I went to go see my boy Izzy. Izzy was fighting Pereira. He got the one back, um, and I was in the crowd watching and then the, the full year later I'm, I'm there again but also donald trump was there and I, again i didn't think about it but when when he was there i was like oh snap and i gave him a little wink and then carried on going i saw candice owens there as well these are people obviously i'm very like i like to kind of uh understand what's going on with certain things so i look a lot of like i've seen a lot of like candice owens podcast because she be quite she can be quite controversial yeah um but i kind of i just I like some of the stuff she says. Not not everything, but I like some of the stuff she says. Uh, I like to try and understand some of the stuff that I'm against. But she says, um, obviously Donald Trump as well. Uh, Donald Trump. Any differences when you see him in in real? No, he's he's still Donald Trump. And and I tell you now, no matter who's fighting on that show, nobody gets a cheer louder than Donald Trump. In 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 Miami, every time he stood up, yeah, he just stood up. The crowd goes nuts. Yeah, <laughs> nuts. And then he sits back down. It's just like, quite, and obviously, like, you got the key fighters that come out and it's, you know, people yeah. making noise, but um, there was nothing. <laughs> they got nothing on Donald Trump, man. Wow. He's loved over there. Um, he loves America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does, he does, he does. And you can see, like, again, whatever, however you feel, uh, or whatever side you land on with regards to him if you look into a lot of his history and what he's done uh he, he knows he, he knows what he's doing mm -hmm. he knows what he's doing can i ask you a personal question what's the highest celebrities number that you have in your phone the who the biggest celebrity, the biggest celebrity that you probably got on your phone mm. i guess i guess it would be 50 but everyone's big in different ways. Like, yes. I used to ch uh, chat to Tom Holland. Not sort of Tom Holland, sorry. Um, um, uh, Tom Hardy, sorry. Because um, we were talking about some something ages ago and then just stay in touch. There's big musicians that I, 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 I chat to all the time. A lot, Obviously, a lot of them are more so from over here. Um, yeah. When you, when you ring 50, does he pick up straight away? Or would he get back to you in a week or two? Like, are they really that yeah, busy like you it, think it, they are? Yeah, it varies. He can get back to you months down the line, or he can get back to you straight away. It varies. So yeah, and he, but he, I know, is very he is so active, and he's a person that if you are, and I, I, for people that are busy as well, I get that. If he's a person, if you are not in his field of view while he's doing something. You can be forgotten very quickly because he's he's hustling. He's he's always moving. So I say when when he's in town, I always check him. We always catch up, and you know we be chatting for hours. Um, but then if he's not about, he's just he's just doing his thing. So yeah. you got to keep trying to jump in his way, like yo, what's up? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's like uh, I wouldn't even with him. I wouldn't say we're close at all. Like we get we get on, and. It's it's just it's cool to have somebody like him that you can speak to on occasion, but the keys for me are people that can actually help or I can help. You know what I mean? Like those are the interactions and those are the um the relationships that mean more. Yeah. Like I I respect all of these other guys. Yeah. But these ones are more integral, more key, especially to my my growth. So, yeah. ask me the same question, bro. Who's who's in your phone? Michael Venom. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> yeah.
It's fat, man. Come on, bro, man. <laughs> Honestly, you're that guy. Like, you know, there's certain people who break barriers in your beliefs. Mm. Um, when I first came on social media, I met a guy called Samuel Leeds. Mm. Very controversial. Some people like him. Some people don't. Does a one pound course. Yeah, you might buy another course after that. But he does get you results as well, okay. whether that's breaking beliefs. And when I've started this podcast world, obviously, I've met a lot of people. But when I met you at the O2 and how humble you are, I was like, there is real people out there. Mm. He doesn't let none of this get to him. And that's the biggest thing. I respect that more than you're fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, because I, I respect you in the cage as well. I'm like, I don't know how he does that, but that's his profession. Yeah. But outside that profession... Like, I'm not going to name any names, but I've met fighters and they don't have that energy. They're mm, like, how mm, much am I getting paid? Mm, What's in it for me? Yeah. And then cut off straight after. Yeah. And it's just like, you just feel, you know, a bit different. It's, 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 it's a difficult one because I've, I'm being myself, but then you, there have been times where I'm like, in the reverse role, when I'm being nice, you can also get, have people take advantage of that. So then I also understand when I see some people in the similar statuses as myself be cold, I'm like, I kind of get mm -hmm. you, you, depending on how you, I, I can't say how you started, but I can also understand how you can get to that place Yeah. where if people have, you know, messed you about too many times, you're like, hell no, I'm not letting on this again. And then you date. I create certain channels for you to have to go through. Mm -hmm. So if you had just so happened to get to me directly for what, like, as we just kind of came across each other, yeah. it's like, shh, I got to be like, no. Nope. Yeah. So I can also understand that. Yeah. And, and, I, and I had it at, uh, at Bellator where I felt like I was being, I wouldn't say being, I would be myself, but just everyone's, I was being cool with everybody. When you're being cool with everyone, people let go of certain information. And they, they, they you know, talk about other fighters. And, oh, yeah, we got to do this. And this guy's asking for that. And this girl, she says this and this. Girl. So you get all the little information. I'm not even asking. You're just through, through conversation. But now I'm like, I kind of have an understanding of what people are asking for or demanding. And these guys are having to do it. <laughs> then I'll ask for something very small, comparatively. Like, oh, is yeah. it okay if this happened? Oh, no, I, you might have to ask this person. I, I, mm. and then I, I'm getting run around. And I'm like, Wait, what's going on? You, you've told me that these you do all of this. Yeah. These person, these people are like, oh man, they they need twenty people to come, and you've got to have to run around and get all these twenty people. I ask if one person can is this can this my brother? Can my brother come with me? Ah, oh, I'm not sure. Like you know, you have to. Ah, uh, uh, not and, uh, and there was a, there was a phase where I got cold with a lot of people just because I felt I was being messed around yeah. a lot. I got really cold with a lot of people. Yes. Everyone felt that, obviously, because I'm usually like more like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And after that, I got treated 10 times better. Mm -hmm. And I, it was disgusting. I actually yeah. felt, I hated the fact that mm -hmm. I had to be this way yeah. for people to, like, people come up to me, like, treading on eggshells because they're like, oh, wait, yeah. something's off with, with MVP. So they're like, oh, is everything okay? And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, And then I'll be like, oh, yeah, I need this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get done together. I'm just like. Why Why did I have yeah. to be cold exactly. for you to respond that way? Exactly. So like I said, everyone's got a story and I'm not excusing bad behavior at all because yeah. I, I don't feel like I need to do that. Um, but I also can understand how you can get to that place. Yeah. Some Sorry. people, not not everybody is, some people are yeah. just like that and they're just, in yeah. my opinion, they're just assholes. So it's them. Yeah. But I can get when have, you're having to be that mm -hmm. way as well. I totally do get what you mean because sometimes I'll have a bunch of people just come straight to me and go, can you just tell me this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like they want a piece of you yeah, straight yeah, away. Yeah. And sometimes I like to ask something back and I'm like, sure. What, sorry. What is it that you do? This, this is, Oh, I need a little bit of help in that. Can you help me also? Mm -hmm. And then when they go, Oh, we can talk about that. I'm like, you're not giving me that same energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can talk about what you can do. Like that's what I've had to learn because before it's like, Sucking your energy, sucking yeah, your yeah. energy, sucking your yeah, energy, yeah. giving, 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 giving. And then when you ask for one thing back and they don't, it actually, well, for me, it hurts me psychologically because I've done so much for you. I know people, I give out good energy. Why, do, why can't I just receive it back? 100%. We're all human. Yeah, why yeah, why yeah. can't we have that exchange? Yeah. You know, balance is important as well. Mm -hmm. It can't just be one way. But yeah, I can totally relate to that. Before, the, before we wrap this one up, we've got to talk about a very important fight, the Ian Gary fight. Mm -hmm. That was the last fight you had? Yeah. 
Yes, what a fight that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, talk to me about that one, uh, Michael. It's a weird one because, and again, I don't want to appear to be making excuses, but I didn't feel, my, I didn't feel myself. I'm going to keep it very simple. I wasn't my complete self. I'm still analyzing exactly the different things that was going on. 